Why would you do this? Why would you have Star Sapphire event and a Gym Blitz in the same weekend? You guys never did that before. This is making it difficult for my free to play account. Thank you very much. Let's get to it. There is a difference between you and me. We both looked into the abyss. But when it looked back at us, you blinked. Hi guys, Don Gravy here, and this is a DC Legends video. In this video, one, what's up with this whole, that direction, what's up with this whole PvP, like Legends showdown, gym blitz happening on the same weekend thing? That's the first time that's ever happened. And so now my PvP energy has to go to, I don't know, maybe farming one of the best healers in the game or getting more gems. That sucks. Not okay. Not okay. Anyway, I just wanted to point that out. That makes it difficult for a free-to-play person to to like build up what would be a great tune, get as many frags of that great tune as you can, but at the same time, I need those gems so I can gear up tunes, pursue more frags, stuff like that. So that's basically like you have to pay in order if you want to keep up with both. I guess my only strategy is going to be like half-half. I'm going to do one match Star Sapphire, one match Gem Blitz, one match Star Sapphire, one match Gem Blitz. But it sucks. It sucks. Now, moving on to the rest of what's happening in my account. Um, on the free-to-play account, to this point, Abensur has been very, very good for me. I'm going to go ahead and gear him out. Somebody brought up a very interesting uh, argument in the comment section. Um... So I'm going to go ahead and ring him and gear him out on my main account uh, just to see how well he performs. But to this point, since he's a special damage tune, just to be on this, since he's a special damage tune, running him under Lex has been great. This pack tactics, it there's times when it just does nothing. And it's frustrating, but when it works, it is cool. I just put the taunt on him because he's the one with like the deepest HP pool, usually when I'm running comps. Um, He's good. The thing, the main issue I'm running into with him and with basically all of my tunes is just not having enough rings for their abilities. Uh, green rings are so scarce in the beginning of the game. I had no idea. I don't remember that at all. Like, as of what I know from my main account is blue rings. Blue rings, blue rings are the scarcest resource. Early game is green rings. I cannot find green enough green rings to ring out my tunes. I have, what, like 200 and something blue rings. And yeah, I have 244 blue rings and one green ring. I have on my main account like four blue rings. Like I would love to be able to just do a trade and trade 244 of my green for 244 of these blue and work on my tunes or whatever. But you, yeah, whatever. Anyway, so that's a Ben Sori. Yeah, it's been good um, early game. And I'm pretty sure that if I went ahead and tried to complete chapter eight of heroic mode i could but i've been too busy like farming and maintaining the tunes as they are now and i haven't really used the energy towards completing the heroic campaign like whenever i do have energy well before what i was doing when i would have energy for this week is i went after talia went ahead and took her l2 holding off from that gear i geared her up some today as you can see not enough rings to do a whole lot with her abilities mm -hmm. Um, but yeah, so I've already geared her up a little bit, already leveled her up, already got her to L2. So I'm going to be using her more often. She's a very good red who has, um, evasion ups on the A1, making it harder for her to get hit. Um, evasion is not a great thing early game that I'm, I'm coming to find out now, but is what it is. Um, and then after, so that's where my energy went to. And then when I would complete that event that she had this past week, uh, then I would, or if I wanted to farm some more, I would, but the other bits of my energy have been going into farming Wonder Woman. I've almost got her to L1, and so what I do is just come down here, go to become legendary, and then I just basically auto-complete these missions, just speed force-wise, so I can get more frags. Once I get her to L1, then this frag farming system I'm using for Heroic is going to go over to Green Lantern next so I can get him L1. I think I've said that previously, but that's where I stand right now. Wonder Woman, I mean, she is a she's already a victim of power creep right now and we're just getting started although to be fair she's only r5 at the moment she's not legendary anything so she'll probably get like the 3700 but she's fully like um level 50 gear 9 so i can't take her up anymore i'm keeping at level 50 gear 9 so she's as high as she's going to get in terms of gearing and a lot of these other tunes that i'm using right now let's go ahead to the newer tunes talia level 50 gear 5 l2 to be fair 
but even if I remove like 200, she still got 3,600. And she's only, she hasn't had a, she's only gear five. So yeah, yeah, that's, that's, she's definitely, or yeah, she's definitely a victim of um, power creep to the, power creep to the nth degree. So that's Wonder Woman POT and that's Talia. And then going back into red alert, sorry for the whole cut now. <laughs> what I'm gonna have to go through, I'm, I'm having like brain farts all over the place. I'm gonna go ahead and go into like how, like the issues I'm running into with uh, red alerts and farming, right? So for example, right now, Eclipso. Eclipso is gonna be the thing I'm gonna try to use to solve the problem of Black Flash Spectre. Basically what I need is to go to Eclipse, his A2, and get that legendary point. Once I take him L1, then he'll start off with Taunt and he'll have four evasion ups. Hopefully then when Black Flash goes off, if I'm pairing Arsenal and Eclipso, they'll retaliate when Eclipso evades, and that way hopefully Arsenal and like that combination will be able to take them out. So that's the idea, which means that now I have to pay more close attention to the Red Alerts calendar. So right now, today it is Mr. Freeze's day, if I'm not mistaken. And Mr. Freeze, I have worked, oh no, no, yesterday was Mr. Freeze's day. Today is, um, Booster Gold's day. And Mr. Freeze, I was already, I went ahead and took him, I like refreshed it, and went ahead and took him R5. I think he's a pretty good secondary taunter. He's tanky, plus he's special damage, and since Lex is still like the head of the snake that is my PvP Red Alerts team, having special damage tunes is a big advantage. So I do like what he brings to a team. I think that he can like basically speed down, lock another team by laying down so many speed downs that they don't get a turn. Like he just keeps continually debuffing and debuffing and debuffing. So I do like him. I do like having him. Um, so I did refresh yesterday so I can go and get those frags. Then today is Booster Gold's day. Booster Gold has been letting me down. Um, I've already completed Red Alerts for today. So I would have to refresh it another two times. Uh, if I refresh it two times, I still would be three frags shy of taking him or, or L1. And I mean, he's okay. I think I might be being a bit critical. He has been able to one-shot Spectre on his A3. And I don't have it, of course, I don't have it ringed out or anything. So he has been doing the job, but I have seen him fall a lot lately when I'm using him. So he's slowly but surely not being used as much by me. I mean, I think it's good to have him. But my go-tos at the moment are going to be Talia, Arsenal, um, um, Talon, actually. Talon is still a beast. Uh, Stripe, he's okay. And then Batman even does some damage. But Batman has already fallen off my like normal usage. Um, so as far as it comes to uh, Red Alerts, it is right now, like, I'm not going to refresh for Booster Gold. Um, it wouldn't be enough for us to take him L1 anyway. And I see him falling off. Tomorrow would be the Ra's al Ghul days where I get 17 frags. I do want to take Ra's al Ghul L1, but refreshing that, I'd have to refresh it for 17. I'd have to refresh it like five times. I'm not doing that. I'll complete it once and be done with it. Super Boys Day is coming, and that's the day that I want. Um, if I refresh it twice, I'll get 50 frags. Or if I refresh it once, I'll get 50 frags total. That'll put him at 83, 63. And then one more time would make him... R or L1, and I'm probably going to do that on the 17th, which would be the day that I get gems from Gem Blitz, but you know, um, we'll see how that goes. But um, so I'm going to refresh. So the goal is, is that I'm not, I'm going to use some of these gems right now to continue to um, level up, but like today is Friday, and so I've already taken care of the physicals. All of my physicals are the highest level right now, and so then the next to go up highest is going to be the Mystics and then the Energy, as I've been doing it the last couple of weeks. But uh, I'm going to save the frags so that I will be able to re reset Red Alerts twice. Then I'm going to go ahead, take Superboy RB1. He's very, very good. He's very good at dealing with your Harley Quinns and all the um, evasion ups, can't miss comps. He has special damage, run him under Lex. He's great. So that is the plan um, as it stands right now. So I'm gonna refresh that twice. And then I have an Eclipso day coming up on the 20th. He's gonna have 25 frags. If I refresh that twice, I'll have Eclipso at uh, L1 as well. So skipping Gorilla Grog, cause I'm not, I'm not developing Gorilla Grog yet. He's really good, he is really good but I'm just not developing him right now at the moment, so I'm skipping that day. What I'm going to do is focus on making sure I have 
900 frags on the tw on the 17th of April and then having 900 frags on the 20th of April and that means that I'm gonna have to do some gym blitz work and that may mean sacrificing star sapphire frags I don't know how many I would love to get enough frags to take her L1 and it's not gonna happen after this event that's the other thing too it's gonna happen after her second event of the month which let me go ahead and go back it's gonna happen on the second event of her month of this month um, like if I can get a few frags from both of these events then I, I should be okay and plus the second event's gonna be easier because it's a hero event not a legends event so I can just use all my heroes and not be limited to only legendary characters so that is the plan as it stands and you know what since we have this glowing orb here let's check and see what's in the video the voice scanner video scanner Zatanna worthless so Give me some gems. Give me some gems. Give me some gems. You gave me energy. We'll make it work. So, thank you guys for watching all the way through. I'm going to do a mailbag episode because I missed Monday, so I'm going to do that like right on the back of this. But thank you guys for watching. I drop these such videos every Monday, Wednesday, Friday. So please like, please subscribe. If you don't like it, hit subscribe and hit dislike. I'm okay with that as well. Thanks for watching all the way through. I'll see you next time.